Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please do it to like our video, subscribe and share with your family and friends. Now, a Nigerian residing in Canada with the username on TikTok, Annie underscore Nix, has given the reason why Nigerians don't help each other, that they prefer to help others from other countries right there in Canada. According to her, she saw the comment on um, Insta blog and she decided to weigh in on it. According to her, the reasons why Nigerians don't help one another is because of this. Nigerians will use you. Nigerians will, will rather see you suffer. Nigerians are full of envy. Nigerians are jealous. She went further by telling a story about her own experience with such situation. She said that she shared a post on LinkedIn about the company she worked for and a Nigerian name reached out to her that they should um, have a cup of coffee together. Not knowing that the Nigerian had another interior motive towards that meeting. Like, according to her, she said the Nigerian was asking about some personal information about her with regards to the company where she worked, which was not supposed to be on a, a natural basis so she was saying that um, that user was trying to get this information so that she can put her into trouble with the company she was working with but the the video she shared was about eight minutes but i'm going to leave some else out of the video i would like to hear your thoughts regarding this do you think nigerians and in, in canada don't help one another and do you think uh, what the lady is actually saying in the video is right please share your thoughts in the comment section department i work with i mean that was the only thing she kept asking that where am i working where is my office where is my branch which team am i working with and i'm like okay and i was answering innocently i gave her all the information that could pinpoint because it's a big company that could pinpoint me to a particular location and the particular office and the particular department i'm working with and she left and uh, this person that was telling me about coffee date never said anything that would foster the coffee date but she kept on insisting on knowing where i work and all that yada yada information after a few days she came again this time we exchanged our contact already she came on whatsapp and started asking me questions and this person is the smart i thought i was smart you would never know where she was gearing at she, she she started conversation that would lead to her getting my name she was like oh what's your name on team i was your full name on team so i can message you on team directly she wanted to know my name she has gotten the office the location the department probably my team head and to know my name little did she know that i was no longer working with this company so i think she got confused she looked me up everywhere she couldn't find me and she thought that okay maybe i go by another name she wanted to know the name i registered with that company go 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 why so that she can put me into trouble that was her so aim she was never interested in any coffee day she was never interested in making any friendship she just wanted to make sure that i do not spend another day in that company why i didn't know this person from adam she was not the only one she was not the only one i have gotten messages from nigerian on linkedin asking me eh, am i still working in this company uh, that they didn't expect me to last long in this company and these are people people that i don't know i've never i've never done anything to i've never had any interaction or altercation issues with and somebody just wakes up and says i must make sure that you don't have this food on your table again for no reason that is nigerians for you i've had a situation whereby someone was coming to canada and i said please can you help me bring a wig a wig that is not up to one kg from canada this person ghosted me and i have been helping this person know answering this person's question about coming to canada i don't answer dms like that if you don't book a chat but this person because they have been very active on my page i always answer her finally she got her visa finally she's about to travel she told me she's coming and i said please can you help me bring a wig just something you fall inside your bag this guy this girl ghosted me to my greatest shock this girl messaged me few weeks later later <laughs> few weeks later when she arrived canada that she's in canada 
that she's looking for accommodation or that she's looking for a job or that I should help her. I'm like, oh, really? You're in Canada? Welcome. What happened? You told me you'll get back to me regarding travel. She was like, eh. I was like, eh. That's how she ran away. It's just that city for me. Somebody that I've been helping all through her journey. Wig. No rich one kg. She still came back. Start telling me to help her with job and all. Thanks for watching our video. Please like and leave a comment and subscribe.